The World Health Organization is to list processed meat among the most cancer-causing substances alongside arsenic and asbestos. ABC 7's Alex Redmond joins us with more information. Alex. Thanks, Haley. Meat lovers take note. Researchers from the World Health Organization's International Agency for Research on Cancer released an evaluation of more than 800 studies from several continents about meat and cancer. They classified processed meat as carcinogenic to humans in the same category as cigarettes and red meat as probably carcinogenic to humans. A new addition to the list of things putting you at risk of cancer. They're saying that processed meats and bacon particularly, which is heartbreaking. The World Health Organization now classifies processed meat among the most cancer-causing substances alongside asbestos and arsenic. Well, I wouldn't stop eating the meats. I think it's sort of like when they talked about sugar years ago or, or uh, 100 years ago they talked about sweeteners and then caused cancer. There will be skeptics, says licensed nutrition counselor Eve prang -Plews. We've known that processed meats could cause cancer literally for decades. Those most at risk? People who eat a lot of salami and bologna and hot dogs. High consumption of processed meats, including bacon. Have more cancers of the colon, more cancers of the pancreas, and more cancers overall. Fresh red meat is also due to join the World Health Organization's Encyclopedia of Carcinogens, likely to be ranked as only slightly less dangerous than the preserved products. This, says Dr. John Mason, is what medical professionals have known decades. Dr. Mason adds those who live in globally identified blue zones where people live longer have a common factor. As a proportion of their diet, they generally eat less red meat than those other areas in the world where we tend to die sooner. Dr. Mason's recommendations? Eat fresh foods, eat more fish, eat more poultry. You can eat pork, and yes, you can also eat red meat, but just don't eat it every day. Levine says he'll reserve judgment and cites other studies. You have to drink like 500 diet sodas a day for the equivalent we gave the rats. Plus comparison includes a now well-known carcinogen. But that's the first place we went with tobacco. We said it was probably troublesome. But, you know, you have three meetings with the tobacco lobby and all of a sudden it isn't. You have three meetings with the beef lobby and all of a sudden it isn't. We want our meat to look pretty and pink, says Plews. The preservatives and nitrates turn into carcinogenic compounds, which is why the luncheon meats are more dangerous than the cut of beef. While government may urge people to consume meats in moderation, the World Cancer Research Fund recommends avoiding processed meat altogether. And Alex, could we see any changes to labeling soon? I think that new dietary guidelines are definitely coming down the road in Europe. But here we take a little bit longer in this country because we need to have longer term studies. And uh, of course, we do have the meat uh, industry, which is a very strong industry right now. So we have to see what happens. I mean, it will all depend on further studies. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you, Alex.